The San Jose Santa Clara Regional Wastewater Facility treats over 110 million gallons of wastewater a day. When wastewater first enters the treatment facility, it passes through large bar screens called headworks. Rags, plastics, and other large debris get caught on these screens and are removed from the wastewater. Wastewater is then piped into long primary tanks and slowed. Here, fats, oils, and grease float to the top and heavy solid material sinks to the bottom. Large fiberglass bars push the floating particles into troughs and continue on a circular path to the bottom of the tank and scrape the settled material out of the tank. The next stop is the aeration tanks. The incoming wastewater acts as food for naturally occurring bacteria in the tanks. Oxygen is added to create the ideal environment for the bacteria, allowing them to grow and consume the organic pollutants cleaning the wastewater. The wastewater then flows into large circular tanks called clarifiers. Bacteria in the wastewater are deprived of oxygen inside of the clarifiers, and as a result, they sink to the bottom. Mechanical arms slowly spin around and collect the settled material. Solids are removed from every stage of the wastewater treatment process and are piped to digesters. These large tanks are just like stomachs. They are airtight, kept hot at 98 degrees Fahrenheit, and contain bacteria that break down the solids and produce methane gas as a byproduct. This gas is captured and converted into electricity, which helps meet almost two-thirds of the facility's energy needs. From the clarifiers, wastewater flows through filter beds comprised of gravel and coal, removing any remaining small solids. The filtered water is then mixed with chlorine to remove any remaining bacteria or viruses that would harm public health. After this process, the chlorine is neutralized, 